Hi everybody, welcome to today's wild card reading. Y'all know it is a collective reading, so only take from it what resonates, leave what doesn't. Let's see the energies coming in for the wild cards today. Let's get your energy, your perception of the person coming forward. We Oh, guys, look. <laughs> Right off the bat, split veil, leaving quickly and uh, decisively. The relationship is devolving or ending, not keeping in touch, time alone. And the escape artist, and y'all know escaped artist is like when it gets real, they run. So your perception of this person coming forward and their energy is they run. Mm -hmm. Let's see the energies that was in the connection between us. Felt good. Mm -hmm. Feel great first. Mm -hmm. Feeling of having a partner, healthy relationship. Raise your vibration. Yes. Ooh, that right there tells me that, yeah, them, them running, we really thought it was good between us. So, yeah, let's see their energy, their perception of you. Abandonment. Mm. Fear of abandonment issues. Are affecting relationship ghosting forgive especially yourself mm, that stood off big time forgive especially yourself the ghosting Ooh, okay more of your perception of them let's see what else is coming out here we've got communications mm -hmm. address concerns without attacking person Communi communication is the issue healthy and loving dialogue more of the energy between us. Show us more of that. Ooh, strategy. Have a game plan. Implement daily routines that support your goals. Be clear about desires. Mm, okay. It's showing the energy between us, guys. Um, <clears throat> It was good energy while we were interacting and stuff. It was good energy. It sort of shows um, the gradual of I enjoy this person. They make me feel good. That's both of us, guys. And then all of a sudden it moves into where's the game plan? Where are we going from here? <laughs> that kind of thing. Are we leveling up? What's going on? Let's see more of their energy on you. Subconscious mind. Recondition your subconscious mind to change your life. Rewrite beliefs. Ooh, guys, wow. Back over on your energy. And y'all just know, sometimes the energy can be reversed. What I'm reading is yours may be the other person, and it's perfectly okay. You take it how it resonates for you. Deal breakers. List and adhere to your deal breakers. The universe will support you in staying true to yourself. Communications. The one thing this is showing me, guys, we really thought the person, you know, was was transparent with us. Um, this split escape artist all of a sudden may have been like, what the heck happened? This was, I thought we were doing, it was clicking. We were good. And, uh, like I said, for some reason, something triggered. See more of the energy between us. We've got patterns. Uh-oh. Patterns. Be aware of dating patterns. Stop what doesn't work. Subliminals. Change subconscious patterns. Wow. Okay. Come back over to here on their energy, their perception of you. Pop. Exclusive. There it is. <laughs> There's what scared us. The commitment possible. Marriage, material, or life partner. Become exclusive. Bottom of the deck. Dating. Wow. Mm. And join each other's company. Uh, yeah, like I said, I got a feeling this person's uh, over here. The reaction, because we got split veil, was like, just, what the heck happened? Um because we were doing so good, enjoying each other's company. Things were moving along. But over here, I'm ask, I am asked the cards to show me this person's perception of you over here. <laughs> and, you sh and show me your perception of them. But guess what we're getting over here? Um, them looking at you 
but telling us about them of abandonment issues. Mm -hmm. Subconscious beliefs was in the subconscious. I will always be abandoned. Someone will always leave me. I don't want to get attached. The minute that we get attached, the minute that I invest and I and I give in to this, uh, is the minute they run off and leave me. So what happens when you get an escape artist? Let me get out of this before I get hurt. Uh, they 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 are trying to. I mean, they're trying to say that's you. When you're over here, like, what the hell happened? What what just happened? I thought everything. I thought we were good. I thought we were communicating, and it was so easy to talk to you. That kind of thing. We triggered them. The fact that it become easy, and that person knew. It was easy and comfortable, and God, this is the one. It scared them. It triggered them. Mm -hmm. The subliminals, uh, subconscious message. So, yeah. Mm. And it's left you over here going, what was the deal breaker? I don't understand what, what, what happened. I don't understand this. What was the deal breaker in this? I thought everything, we were good together here. What happened? And it's sort of like leaving us with this deer stunned in the headlight um, feeling. That's the only way I know to describe it. We're just stunned. It's like, I'm not understanding what happened. What was the deal breaker? They left you hanging and left you guessing at what went wrong. And over here, we're seeing what exactly went wrong. What went wrong was everything went right. Everything went right. And it scared this person to bail out. Bail on it. So, yeah. Mm. Okay. Let's pull the tarot. Let's pull the tarot. Like I said, it's uh, you know I'm I'm I have assigned this as your energy. It can be flipped, guys. It could be you know this might be you. <laughs> you might not be understanding what that you know what what did I get so scared about here? This is showing you. This is I mean that would be showing you. But I'm I, to make it easier for me, I read this as your energy on this side. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna come in on your side and see your energy right now, your thoughts, your feelings when it comes to this person and what happened. So get your thoughts, your feelings right here. See what's going on. Yeah, you the babe in love that's standing there stunned. <laughs> and page of Pentacles of what just happened. And trying to figure out, uh, there's no movement. It's a standstill energy of, wow, <laughs> let me get clarity. Let me get myself regrounded here and figure out what was the deal breaker? What happened? What happened? Let's see some more. Uh, let's, let's come to your feelings towards the person. Your feelings towards the per this person. Wow, we've got two... Ooh, got Aquarius energy, but what's this one? A four of pentacles. Mm -hmm. You bottom of the deck. Yeah, you really want to know what happened because that hair font is like what, what law, what deal did I break? What happened in this? I'm not understanding because your feelings right now are covered up over covered in the mind of trying logic of. What the hell happened? It was the rug was pulled out from under me, uh, kind of scenario with that four of pentacles. Cause we, you know, we were, you know, investing. It was, it's showing slow moving energy. We weren't pressuring or anything like that. It just seemed to flow and click between us until we hit over here and down here. Mm -hmm. So your feelings right now are just covered up in like trying to figure out the hell happened hmm let's go ahead and jump over to this person and get some more answers on their thoughts their feelings what's going on in that energy right now let's come to their feelings towards you feelings towards you pop ow and it went sideways we're gonna leave it sideways ten of swords yeah, their own thoughts are their worst enemy, <laughs> guys. But this is, I'm leaving it sideways. Y'all know that energy is in a void. It's in the void of, I'm, 
I'm, I don't think I'm ready to, to put an end to this. But my thoughts are getting the better of me. And then we're just suspended in that energy of can't, can't make a decision of is it over or not. See some more here. So, and, and of all things, guys, I just noticed <laughs> the deer in the headlights. Ow. Okay, let's get some more on their feelings here. The negative thoughts are covering up their own feelings and it's subconscious. Like I said, their cards are throwing all kinds of moon energy of subconscious triggers. Mm, they're not sure what to do. More standstill energy. Y'all know this is sometimes a walk, a card of walking away, but it's reevaluating before you take the steps and the actions to walk away from something. So this person is just installed energy and in trying to figure out what I want to do. Everything I've been doing is uh, emotionally unfulfilling for me. Am I willing to? What's on the bottom of the deck? Uh, weary, yeah, <laughs> battle weary. Am I wasting my time trying to fix something or change something I can't change? Wow. Oh, eight and nine, changing and endings mm -hmm. to get new beginnings. Let's see their, well, we already see their thoughts, but I want to go into their thoughts when it comes to you. What are their thoughts on you? Oh, I just need to get some clarity. Mm -hmm. Quiet the brain down. Uh, it's also a question about healing time to heal in uh, clear energy and yeah mm, have I ruined it completely oh guys they are considering um, should they should they get back in touch with you should they come back around should they take some kind of action could they fix this uh, they're just not clear on on things uh, and when we're getting that four swords energy, y'all know it's like rest recuperation. It's a withdrawal from sharing your thoughts and feelings until you can get clear. All them swords are your rest in a battle to get clear on your thoughts. Think of it as like putting your ducks in a row to know what actions to take next. This person feeling like they, they, they battling some inner demons. Because uh, I really don't think um, they were battling much in the connection when we got your response over here of like, what the hell happened? I thought everything was good. I thought we were being transparent and honest with each other. Let's see their desires uh, towards you. They're at a crossroad, stalled between head and heart. Desires, desires. Why are we sitting on that two of swords? Freedom and independence. I'm, I'm not trusting this uh, com comfort zone kind of thing. What else? What's stalling us from making a decision in the past? The past. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck is full card. It feels very risky. Uh, their past, they feel like immature, emotionally immature. They may not be understanding their self, but they're doing what they've done in the past. They've stalled. When things get real, it's like, no, run. <laughs> run, get back in your comfort zone. That's you being being single. Single, stay single. Don't be in love. Don't invest your heart. They're following a past pattern uh, when things get risky. Mm -hmm. Ooh, emperor up under that energy. Mm-hmm. Emperor that loses confidence when they start to feel off balance and like things are like they're stepping into something new and everything goes foggy. <laughs> the newness would be a new way of thinking, but also a new way of feeling. And when it starts to get real mm -hmm, and I start feeling it and I start thinking it, uh, I get dizzy. I won't. I, I, mm -mm, I can't handle this. Mm -mm. I'm going to, I'm going to get my, you know, hurt, emperor, it's too risky, run, run, hermit cards up underneath all of those, so yeah, Virgo hermit, with, you know, withdrawing the four of swords again, so yeah, we definitely got <laughs> somebody that run, I'm going to pull one more deck, because I want to ask one more, one more question before we get messages from them, um, 
if we can get on get past the surface level energy of their brain dive deeper into the heart where it's not so fearful and vulnerable and just speak the truth of our feelings towards my wild cards your feelings towards my wild cards can you speak the truth pop Queen of Swords, Libra. Tell me more. Six of Wands. What else? What else? Ace of Swords. Clarity. Two of Pentacles. Threw me off balance. Uh, the one thing about our Cosmic Tarot, guys, the Lover's card is behind our Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. Out of the deck, that's the Lover's card. So the person shuts down. Mm -hmm. They would also be saying that they know you probably have cut them loose. Like, mm-hmm, asshole <laughs> kind, of, kind of energy attitude. Uh, but the person is saying eventually you would fall out of love you would have no more fascination with me because i can't live up to your expectations i need help i need help uh and that's the truth that's the truth of me mm -hmm. that uh so their feelings is more of fear fear-based and they are making a subconscious pattern way of thinking of it always happens they could have picked that pattern up from watching their parents or friends or siblings when they were younger watching the love fade away in a relationship and everything just become too much and and their thought their way of thinking is it always happens so yeah mm, okay let's go ahead and see if they want to put energy onto a deck try to give you a message quick message Ooh, guys really mm -hmm. we're getting uh ghosted deck <laughs> ghosted mm -hmm. pink side pink side there's two sides to this deck but the energy went down on the pink side of this deck but hang on energy still moving around me <clears throat> okay i got it i got it i got it I really need to put all the decks on one side of me because I get a little bit dizzy with the energy swirling around me. This is for my wild cards. That person. What was you want? Ooh, pop. What was that? It felt like our connection was becoming too restrictive and toxic. I needed to get away from it. I needed to get away from it. Hang on, because we didn't get to actually sling too much. They <laughs> knew exactly what they were going to say. Anything else? Yeah. Oh, we've got an addiction card. Find someone you deserve, because all I'm going to do is drag you down into this. Mm. Is it... I don't know if it's an addiction or if it's just that them thinking their way of thinking about their self, their judgment of their, their self. So, yeah. Let's see what else they want to say. Oh, wow, cards. I was in denial. I haven't forgotten you. I'm working on myself. I just want to hold you again. I'm overwhelmed. I regret the way we left things. I 
wish I could express my true feelings. I'm worried about you moving on. I'm trying to be accountable. I want you to chase me. I want you to chase me. I hear you even in the silence. Even in the silence. Guys, the one thing to know about this, this person isn't being egotistical and things like that. This person is like uh, shut down. Uh, if you reach out to the, if you tried to reach out to them, it might take them a minute, but it would give them evidence of they still have a chance because they're worried that you've already moved on and, and we picked up that uh, queen of swords energy of like, bye. <laughs> Ain't got time for this childishness kind of energy so yeah uh, so it's not so much just chase after me and let me reject you for a while that cat and mouse game no it's like uh, give me a sign <laughs> that you're willing if you saw the real me would you still love me would you still love me if you seen the real me I feel like I'm losing you mm-hmm Wild cards, I hope that was helpful, guys. Y'all stay blessed.